there ladies and gentlemen and how are you? Joe Barnes here and uh, we have reached the very exciting part of the actual templates for you to be able to go and design your welcome pages for your Facebook page. So um, as part of this video series I'm offering these free uh, iframe based templates um, so you are bang up to date with exactly where Facebook is. Now, here is the page that you will go to. This is where the link um, that is underneath this video, this is where this will send you to this main page here. And as you can see, there are four main designs. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through what these designs are. Um, this first one here, uh, you've got a space for your header graphics. You've got a step one, like my page image, which you can either keep in, you can um, decide not to have it, or you can upload your own. Then there's some room for text and some information about your products and things like that. And that can either be words, or you can actually upload an image in there if you want to. Then there's a step two image, and again, just like step one, you can choose to keep this one, um, not have it at all, or upload your own. Then um, on this particular one, this is a clickable graphic, so you can put a graphic in here, which can click through to any page you want to go to, and then some more information you can put down here. Again, you can add graphics, images, whatever you want, or text, okay? So that's a fairly sort of simple design one. Um, design two... Um, is exactly the same with the step ones and the step twos and all the rest of it. But on this one, what you've actually got is an opt-in form as well. So you can put an image here of whatever your product is or your service or whatever image you want there. And then you have an opt-in form as well. So this is where you can now start to collect people's names and email addresses. Okay. Design three follows all the same rules as well. But with this one, you can now add a video. Yep. So you can put a nice big video in here. Um, and that can be a YouTube video or it also actually supports other formats. So, for instance, you can put an easy video player um, video in there. Yeah. Um, and again, this has got an opt in form here. And then on design four, this is quite cool. Um, you can put a video here and an opt in form here. Or you can put an opt-in form here and a video here. <laughs> or you could actually put two images. Um, and I'm just going to show you some, um, some tests of that. These are really versatile graphics, actually. Uh, really versatile templates, actually. You can put wherever sort of there's a box that allows video or opt-in form, whatever it takes, your basic HTML code. So um, if you know anything about HTML, then you can put in, you know, whatever you want, really. Images, graphics opt-in forms, videos, and you can really kind of play around with the page. Um, so it's really quite versatile. Not only that, on each one of these pages, you have the option to tick a box, which gives you a reveal tab. So in other words, people can see an image before they see this main page, and they have to click like before they get to see the whole page. Okay? So that's basically what the designs are. So let me just really quickly run you through what it looks like. Now, I have been playing with these, but my images aren't great. So bear with me because I've been, um, all I did was kind of elongate one of my images and it looks a little bit, uh, a little bit odd. But anyway, look, this is the first one here. Okay, so here's the um, frame. Now, obviously, you know, it's not, this is horrible because it says Joe Barnes test one and all that kind of stuff that you're only, only you will see this where you can reset the page and all that kind of stuff. Okay. But basically here's my header. You've now got the um, ability um, and within the templates to actually put the like button in your page. So people don't actually have to go up here to like anymore. You can actually put it within your page. Okay. I mean, let me just tell you that when you do that, if people then do click like, this like button up here will not disappear until they move through your page and go and have a look at another page. So don't worry about that. But it does, uh, that means that it's actually within your page, which I think is quite cool. And here I've got the step one, then I've put some text in here to say, hey, welcome aboard and all the rest of it. And then step two, and then this could be an ebook or whatever. As I said, I just played around with this graphic, so it's not a great graphic. But that is a clickable image, which clicks straight through to a website. So if you click on that, it's going to take you through to the Social Networking Academy um, main page, okay? Um, and then all I've done down here is I've just put a little bit of text and a little picture to say, you know, for all your networking needs or whatever. I've just made it up. Um, okay, so that's number one. And then in number two, what I did, as you can see, is I took off the step ones and the like button and things like that and just, um, you know, put the text and the image and stuff like that in there. 
Okay, um, remembering that this doesn't have to be text, this can all be images as well. Um, this is the another one, this is the one with the opt-in form, so I've put my header, I've put my like, I've left my step one in, some text there. Um, again, that can be an ebook or your product or service or whatever you want in there, and then I've put an opt-in form here at the bottom. Okay, um, and then in this one, I've done it again, but this time I've changed the like buttons in there, you can see. Um, and I've you know put a little graphic in there again this can be wider this can actually fit if, you, if you've actually uploaded you could you can basically upload a graphic from your desktop which will only be this size but if you want to upload a wider one then you can obviously upload it to your um, server and then you can put that in um, and I you know I'll go through how to do that and then um, this you know as I said it's exactly the same I've just put in these different step one and step two buttons there okay and there's your opt-in form um, and also there's a big space here you'll see that's because the like button code I've selected allows for pay for faces yeah um, there aren't faces on this one but it allows for faces but you can click the like button code and click no faces and then this gap will be smaller here okay just so you know okay this is another one I did the headers there I put in a graphic rather than text there and then there's the video yep yeah, there's the YouTube video um, and again, I just sort of put in the opt-in form and stuff down there. Please but remember, mine are very basic. You're really going to be able to play around with this tool. There's the header. I've put in step one there. I've put in some text there. I've put in step two there. And then here you can see where I've got a small video and then a sign-up form to the right. Okay. Um, and then on this one, I've done exactly the same, but I've swapped it round. So you've got the video on the right and the opt-in form on the left, just to show you sort of, you know, the versatility of, of that. Uh, what have I done on this one? This one I did a couple of um, graphics there. Um, I just put the header in there and then step one and then a header and step two and then you know two graphics and these you can make clickable okay. Um, in this one I took out the step ones and step twos and just there and you can see I've made the images clickable there so they're going to go through to a web page. Um, and in the, oh, this is a reveal okay so this is just showing you what a reveal is again you know take no notice of my graphics I've just chucked graphics in off my computer so let's say you've got a header obviously your reveal will go with your header yeah and it says click on the like button above and reveal your free gift okay so you have to actually press like for this one to work okay and then after you press like that is going to take us through to the main page okay um, and here it is, here's the um, header and then there's my video and my sign up form and all the rest of it. And you'll notice this is not a YouTube video, now this is a easy video player video. Okay, so that's the reveal where you actually have to press like before you can go through to the main page. So there's loads really that you can do with these. You can really play around with them and change them about and as I said have graphics and clickable graphics and um, you know things like that rather than um, videos and you know you can have whatever you like really um, and uh, and that's basically how you build your welcome page okay um, and you also have the option to rename it we've put a little icon on there so you can see where it is and you can rename that so it doesn't say iframe it says whatever page um, name you want it to say um, and that's it, really. That's kind of, you know, there's there's lots of things you can do with them. You need to have a play around, have a look. Nice fit. What I'm going to do in the next video is I'm actually going to start going through how to do them. I might, I'm just going to use one or two. I'll use a product one probably in a video one and just quickly show you how they work and what you need to do to get them uploaded. It's very easy. And then really it's down to you to just have a play and see what you can come up with. All right, guys, so I will leave it there and I will see you in the next video where I'm going to take you through exactly how to use the templates.